Okay, here's just a quick video on how I tie the lanyards I use on uh, my pocket knives and everything else for that matter. If I'm using a leather thong and a wooden bead, don't actually have a wooden bead handy right now, so I just thought I'd show you simply how I tie them. Since I give these out to some people, if I don't have the knife, they have to tie it on themselves, so I thought I'd try to have some sort of instruction other than pictures. Now, all you need is a leather thing, which I uh, want to send to people if they contact me anyway. Um, you thread it through the lanyard hole, um, and you insert the wooden bead on after it. You need a short piece and a long piece. So one has to be shorter than the other. You can pick your length, depending on how big you want the lanyard. Then all you need is a pen, or a fire steel, as I often use. Hold it up against it, and then starting from the top, so furthest away from where the knife would be, I, I just wind it around the fire steel, um, and that's purely to make threading it back through much easier later on. So I just circle it around however many times I feel like, but I normally aim for about seven, just because. Lucky number seven, right? Um, something like that. Then when you pull the fire steel out, it obviously leaves a void, and you take the long end that's left, and you insert it through that void. Now, it's, sometimes you have to go back through and do the whole thing again, because as you can see, I'll lose tension where I'm not thinking on, on videotape, so I'm all nervous and stuff. So you pull it up through, and the only thing that sometimes I do differently is the, uh, that initial loop, it's actually going to be different than all the others, because as you can see, it's going to be pushing out the second loop. That's not a great description, but anyway, uh, what I found best is to actually push it through that la first loop too. It makes sense when you're doing it, and um, when you get to it, you're like, do I push it through that first one? And the answer is yes, I do. Uh, but try it the other way and see if you prefer it. Um, so you have pulled it all the way through, but you've got all this tension, all this looseness, especially on that first one where I let the tension go off the knot. I'm constantly holding it with my thumb and finger, which is how you normally avoid that. Anyway, now it's through, I just rewind it, pushing all that tension down the strand as best I can without losing the tension in the rest of it, the tension that it has, and I'm twisting the loop, and it really doesn't matter as long as you keep going with it smoothly. Just keep twisting until you get to that last strand. And then hopefully one's longer than the other. Obviously I've made a mistake here, but I happen to know this is the one I use to wrap around. So you just pull on that, and it holds itself in place. Now it's still pretty ugly. And again, as you can see, that first loop pushes those top ones out. So it looks nasty. So all I have to do is keep doing exactly what I just did in the last step. Just keep pushing the tension down, paying particular attention to the top ones where I've got to flatten this in order to make it as uh, thin or narrow, or whatever word you care for, as the ones that follow. So I just keep twisting, keep pulling. It's harder and harder to pull that, obviously, because you're making this all much more tight as you go. And yeah, I just work it until it all seems level and it looks nice enough that I don't mind it being on a knife when I take a picture. And there you go. That's about where I'd probably leave it. Mainly because if I'm sending it to someone they might want to take it off or do it their own way so I don't want to make it too tight but you can keep going and even put small dabs of glue on either end in order to keep it secure forever. Um, obviously this is where the knife will be again, and I normally leave the lanyard bead, if I'm using one, right there. So it kind of gets kept on. There are other ways of using those beads and different lanyards, but that's the one I use for the pocket knives, because it provides a nice extra part of the handle where they're often so small. And a bigger knife, that's not an issue, but I still kind of like the way this turns out, with just very easy to find uh, leather thongs even or uneven cut, doesn't matter, as long as it fits through the lanyard hole. So that's it. Hopefully some of that made sense. Thanks very much.